touchdown passes rank him third all time in school history. Plus, he gets to hand off to Cliff for Harvard offensively or for Holy Cross offensively. That's where they have been able to do some damage this year. There you see the offensive line, and those guys have come together. Tom Gilmore, the head coach, says those guys are getting better each and every week. And the backs and receivers, John O'Neill, the quarterback. Gilmore says he is as good as you will see if he is on, but <laughs> it is tough to be on on a day like today. You are exactly right in the trenches where this game is going to be won. Shotgun and three wide receivers to open it up. The handoff to Akande. Bob, just have As is, yeah. first and ten from the 33-yard line, the penalty walked off. Holy Cross with wideouts to each side. In motion there is Sean Gruber. The handoff, Silva. Nice hole up the middle for Silva, and he's out close to the 40-yard line. James Harvey made initial contact in the secondary. Hey, the third guy with us today, he's getting combat pay today. <laughs> Phil Burton is down on the sideline. Phil. All right. Here is the handoff, Silva again over right guard. He's close to first down yardage. The guy that Phil was referring to there, Dante Balistracci, a four-time All-League selection here at Harvard. Their leading tackler, their do-everything guy, yep. a year ago for middle linebacker. And uh, Bobby Everett is the guy who's going to have to step, step up. And Matt Thomas, uh, number 40, who is their middle linebacker, who is going to have to play that very position. Yeah, and when you have Harvard's defense, you have an anchor like you did with Dante the last four years. That is a hole that's very difficult to uh, to fill. However, they got two good players back there, as you mentioned. Bobby continued today. They did have a tarp on the field, but you can yeah. see already where the game has been played between the hashes from the 40 in is already starting to be chewed up. So we'll see how the footing is affected there as this game moves on. There's John O'Neill, the junior quarterback from White Plains, New York, has completed 53% of his passes so far this season. Play action. O'Neal under pressure goes down. And there's Matt Thomas, the guy we just referred to, trying to fill the shoes of Dante Balistracci. And he looked very Dante-like there, getting the sack. When you have weather like this, your backers uh, don't have to drop as much, Bill, because, you know, you can go ahead and rush the quarterback. As you can see right there, he's looking in. Boom! He comes flying in from his middle linebacker spot with the middle linebacker blitz. And that'll make you feel good to get your first start at middle linebacker, getting a sack on about the fifth play of the series. Ball moved back to the 37-yard line. And now Holy Cross goes into the shotgun. Both wide receivers to the wide side of the field. O'Neal on the screen to Silva. Nicely diagnosed and disrupted. And it was Coeson Nguyen who came over from his defensive tackle spot to make the stop. Nice reaction for a defensive lineman. Very, very nice. And okay, again, O'Neal trying to just do anything he can from his quarterback spot. You drop back, you try and throw the football long, it's very difficult. So you're going to see a lot of these dump passes, a lot of these flat routes, quick game, and occasionally try and take the shot down the field. O'Neal that time tried to catch the Crimson sleeping a little bit, but they reacted very well for a no game. Third down and 16 now as we come down on seven minutes remaining in the first quarter. Same setup again with the shotgun. Let's see if Harvard brings the heat. Yes, blitz is coming. Here's O'Neal. 
hit as he throws it is up for grabs and it is picked off intercepted by Harvard Ricky Williamson returning to the 30 and taken down to the 25 yard line late penalty flag down that may have been some action away from the tackle Sean Gruber makes the stop on the return but the first turnover goes in favor of the Crimson and you can see right there the weather that ball went up for grabs O'Neill hit as he threw the football but again Weather definite a factor there. Ricky Williamson went up, caught the ball at its highest point, had a nice return, and Harvard now gets their second series deep in Holy Cross territory. And as John O'Neill throws the interception. John O'Neill looking for the wheel route, had a little bit of time, then he got pressure again, and there's your guy, Matt Thomas, with pressure. And there's the INT, a nice return. You'll see right here on the court, right here on the bottom right. You'll yeah. see right there. Now there, there's the penalty, Bill. If you can see that on time, and so are the guys on the field. Let's see if Holy Cross can respond. Here is the pitch to Akande going around the right side. Knight blocked by his fullback, but the Harvard pursuit catches up to him. At about the line of scrimmage on the play, James Harvey again playing run support. Very tough from the secondary. And uh, Harvard's defense just all over that sweep. Yep, and here is if you're the offensive coordinator, Robert Griffin, for the Crusaders, you're just saying to yourself, we got to move the ball. we got to get some first downs to try and swing field position a little bit because... This is a lot like, Bill, when you're backed up in your own end zone, it's very difficult to take chances down the field. O'Neal under, under center on second down and drew Harvard offside. Looked like Sean Tracy was going to come off the corner on a blitz there. He just took a little bit of a step too soon. And the penalty will go against the Crimson, I believe, unless there was some kind of movement. Let's find out. Yeah. It is offside against Harvard. This is where, Bill, you got everything. This is funny. You know, this is this type of weather where you just got to <laughs> put it out of your mind. The ref mic is messed up. We got technical difficulties, you know, but <laughs> our guys, I'll tell you who, who the most valuable players are, are these cameramen that are out yeah. braving these elements out here today. Look at that, four penalties on Harvard already for 50 yards in the first quarter of the game. Tim Murphy can't be happy about that. Here's play action. O'Neal throwing, has a man open, can't get it. Boy, he had Matt Lane coming across wide open and just could not get him the ball. That's a tough pass, rolling to your left and making that throw to begin with. You're exactly right, and he had pressure late by number 59 Workman. It was in his face, so he really couldn't get his shoulder square probably like the way he wanted and in the weather today, you almost have to make a perfect pass, unless, of course, you come up with a circus catch like uh, Woodman did in that first series or second series for Harvard. So third down play, six to go for Holy Cross. Yep, there's... I think that's Griffin, the offensive coordinator yep. there, barking out signals. Third down play. No shotgun formation. O'Neal under center. Hands off. Good hole up the middle for Akande. And he is close to first down yardage. But I'll tell you what. John O'Neal got buried on that play as he let go of the ball. Michael Berg just came flying through the line of scrimmage. You are not kidding. Good job up front getting, getting some running lanes for Gideon. But somebody forgot to block the tackle from the backside because O'Neal got pummeled. I mean, he really got hit. And Bill, we're seeing Akande a little bit more then Silva, which yeah. we talked about in our opening, Akande missed a lot of last year because of his injury, but in 0-2, he was the Patriot League Rookie of the Year, so he's got some abilities up as well. First down at the 30-yard line for Holy Cross. Here's Akande again, another pretty good hole. Glad that we're seeing uh, Harvey run to the sideline. Kind of holding that right arm. Oh, we'll have to see. That could be a... And Harvey, Bill, was a, was a wide receiver for his first three years and blew out his knee last year. They moved him over to defense. He was an all-state defensive back coming out of high school. Pittsburgh and, uh, guy. Yeah, Pittsburgh guy, exactly right. Tough, hard-nosed, <laughs> Western PA type of kid. 